Hi students, it's Shayna, your English teacher from EspressoEnglish.net. Are you ready to learn today's phrasal verb? I'm going to teach you back down. Before I start, I wanted to tell you that I have a lot of online courses and ebooks available to help you improve your English faster. So if you've been enjoying my tips and you like learning from me, you'll really love my online courses. Just click on the link in this video or in the video description to see the description of the online courses available. And you can also try some free sample lessons. Okay, back down. Here are the three options. One of these is the correct definition of back down. So does it mean A, do something again, B, reduce something, or C, retreat from a strong position? Here's an example where this phrasal verb would be used. Let's say a company buys a large piece of land because they want to build a factory there. But the people who are living in the area don't like this idea. They organize some protests because they say, we don't want a factory in our neighborhood. Um, it will produce a lot of pollution. It will be noisy. There will be more traffic. We don't want this factory here. And the company tries to work with the neighbors by saying, no, no, we have new equipment. It won't make very much pollution. Um, we'll keep the noise to a minimum. But the neighbors refuse to back down. So they keep organizing protests and they hire a lawyer to try to fight and block this um, proposed construction of the factory. They're not backing down. Based on this example, what does it mean to back down? A, B, or C? Post your guess about the correct answer in the comments, and then I'll tell you which one is right in just a moment. Back down means C, retreat from a strong position. So in this case, the people living in the area, they have a very strong opinion and they have a, a cause that they are fighting for. They don't want this factory in their neighborhood. They are fighting against it. And even though the company is trying to make some concessions and trying to minimize their concerns, the people living in the area refuse to back down. They refuse to retreat from their position. We often use back down in the case of confrontations. So maybe you'll have two countries which are next to each other and one country starts to put a lot of uh, troops, a lot of military people near the border and that makes the other country nervous because they think, oh, maybe this other country is going to attack us. So the other country also brings their soldiers and their army towards the border. And so you have two armies who are facing each other, just waiting for the other one to attack. But then maybe one of the countries decides to back down, to pull their military troops away and um, retreat from their position. All right. You'll also see this in interpersonal conflicts. So if, uh, let's say, two people at work have a disagreement about how something should be done and they're arguing about it, so they're in conflict with each other, but then uh, one of the people, uh, I don't know, maybe has more evidence to support his idea and so the other person backs down. They um, go back from their strong position and they stop fighting and stop resisting. I hope this gives you a better idea of what it means to back down. If you can, try to use this phrasal verb in your own English by posting a comment using it in a sentence. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you for watching today's daily phrasal verb video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.